picture yourself 10 years from now. If you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it, you would easily have 600,000 pesos today. Today, you're looking forward to your new car, new house, or a dream vacation. Because of inflation, your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today. But if you invested your money in a mutual fund, not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For information, visit the FAMI website. yourself 10 years from now if you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it you would easily have 600,000 pesos today today you're looking forward to your new car new house or a dream vacation because of inflation your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today but if you invested your money in a mutual fund, not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For information, visit the FAMI website. yourself 10 years from now if you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it you would easily have 600,000 pesos today today you're looking forward to your new car new house or a dream vacation because of inflation your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today but if you invested your money in a mutual fund, not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For information, visit the FAMI website. yourself 10 years from now if you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it you would easily have 600,000 pesos today today you're looking forward to your new car new house or a dream vacation because of inflation your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today but if you invested your money in a mutual fund not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For information, visit the FAMI website. yourself 10 years from now if you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it you would easily have 600,000 pesos today today you're looking forward to your new car new house or a dream vacation 
because of inflation, your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today. But if you invested your money in a mutual fund, not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For more information, visit the FAMI website. Picture yourself 10 years from now. If you set aside 5,000 pesos per month 10 years ago without investing it, you would easily have 600,000 pesos today. Today, you're looking forward to your new car, new house, or a dream vacation. Because of inflation, your purchasing power for that 600,000 pesos would actually be worth a lot less today. But if you invested your money in a mutual fund, not only would you have maintained your money's purchasing power, your money would be worth more today. For more information, visit the FAMI website. Welcome everyone to our first episode of FAMI Three Kings, where we will share with you the gifts of first, wisdom, second, a better you, and third, financial freedom. So there will be this will be done every other week, starting today until January 4 next year. So my name is Love, and let's kick off our pilot episode. By the way, stay tuned until the end because we are giving away exciting prizes to those who have sent in their questions prior. So before I introduce our first speaker, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching. So we'll be mentioning, hi, Arnold Padiernos. August, Alba, hello, and hello, Ruth Chaneco. So it's just say hello anytime. So we'll be doing some shout outs. So okay, for our topic today, we will focus on our bonus. So na-receive nyo na ba? So hands up lang sa mga naka-receive na or mga excited na ma-receive ang 13th month pay. So ang question dito, meron pa bang natira or pambayad na lang ba to sa mga in advance mong mga expenses? Tipong, sige naman, meron namang 13th month pay so I'll just purchase these items. So sa mga inaanak na lang ba to mapupunta or next week 12-12 na? But have you considered mag-invest or mag-save? So, paano ba mag-manage properly ng 13th month pay or bonus? So, kung isa to sa mga questions mo or guilty ka sa mga nasabi ko kanina, so this topic is for you really, you really have to watch this episode. So, our speaker this afternoon has over 20 years of experience in the mutual fund industry. She's currently our vice president and branch head of Bismin, a graduate of UP Cebu, where she also took her master's. She is also a registered financial consultant, certified investment solicitor, chartered wealth manager, registered estate planner, former officer of the Registered Financial Consultants Association, Cebu Chapter. So guys, in terms of expertise, ang haba nung minention ko, di ba? Ang swerte natin yan because we have the expert. So would you please welcome live from Cebu, Miss Imelda Estrada. Miss Imelda, maayong hapon. Hi, Miss Love. How are you? Hello. How's the weather in Cebu? Well, it's quite fair uh, this afternoon. Oh, buti naman. Kasi fair. dito makulimlim naman. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. So, hindi ko napapatagalan, Miss Imelda. I'll leave the digital floor all for you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Miss Love. 
Um, first of all, I really would like to thank you, all of you, uh, for joining us this afternoon. I'm really thrilled uh, to all of you who are joining us. You know, um, it is now the holiday season, right? And this centers around celebration, togetherness, and yes, lots of spending. And it is at this time where employees got to receive, sabi nga ni Love kanina, the 13-month pay or bonus. Did you know that the 13-month pay is made in the Philippines? It was uh, during the time of President Ferdinand Marcos. I don't know if uh, the millennials here are familiar with then President uh, Marcos. With a presidential decree number 851 declaring that an additional amount of compensation be given to all employees equivalent to one month's salary. You know, this becomes so popular that other countries really follow it. Um, during the Christmas season, we normally and traditionally use our 13-month pay to celebrate the Christmas season. You know, shopping, uh, give out nice gifts and holding parties. You know, nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. But, you know, with the new normal and during this pandemic, might be timely to also review, reassess, you know, and find um, meaningful ways of uh, using your 13-month pay to celebrate the Christmas season. So this afternoon, allow me to share some tips to you for you to have that uh, meaningful 13-month uh, pay, okay? But before I proceed, I might as well greet our viewers here. Uh, Miss Joanne, welcome. Tan Liwanag, uh, Miss Marichu, uh, welcome. And Miss Ruth, JP, good afternoon, welcome. Okay, welcome to uh, FAMI's first drinking celebration. Anyway, uh, the first tip that I'd like to share with you is plan ahead. See, so very important for you to plan ahead. You know, we are in an unusual times and this calls for unusual measures. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the holiday spirit and overspend. You know, the thrill of giving nice gifts and celebrations is fleeting compared with the stress that comes later. Alam nyo naman, no? Right after gagasto tayo, what's next? Eh yung paying period na, di ba? So what we can do, we just have to be creative, you know, and innovative with our finances. It is clear that a lot of our spending habits and shopping habits have changed. And you know that. A lot of our purchases right now are done online. The shift is on e-commerce, right? The like of Lazada, Shopee, we have that. And so credit cards right now are really handy financial tools, but they can be dangerous during Christmas time. You have to be careful with, with that, no? So um, we can lose our sense of financial responsibility when it comes to using the card. So what we should do, what we should do, you have to stick to your budget and spend within your means, okay? Which means that you really have to plan ahead before you even spend. Okay, let's go to the second tip that I'd like to share with you. You just have to set up a holiday budget. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking about a budget. If you want to keep a tight rein on your spending this holiday season, the first step is to create a budget, you know, and make up your mind that you're going to stick to it, okay? Plot out how much you can spend on gifts, on food, decorations, and all other holiday-related expenses. After you set up your holiday budget, you know, uh, you just have to make a list of all the people you want to buy gifts for, you know? Focus on how much you can spend on each one and not on what you want to buy for them. Kasi, ano yari dito, if we go out and buy gifts, um, you know, the item, ito, pwede to sa friend A or pwede to sa friend B without even looking at the price tag. So that can also be very dangerous. So um, with the circumstances around us, it's okay to, lo uh, to, what, to lighten that holiday load, which means that if the list is too long for your budget, then go through it again 
and pair names or spending amounts. You know, isa rin is that you can also talk to friends. You know, you can talk to friends who, who you know will probably understand and agree not to exchange gifts. Siguro sabi natin, skip muna tayo this year ha. Or January na lang. <laughs> anyway, um, well, of course, we know it's been a tough year for us. So that friend would probably understand. You know, so that's very important. You just have to set up a holiday budget. Okay? The third tip that I'd like to share with you is um, add your name on the gift list. Yes, your name on the gift list. In this holiday season, the greatest gift that you can give to yourself is to set aside something for yourself. You just have to put up that savings and investment account for yourself. In other words, you just have to pay something for yourself before anybody else. Okay, let's have a formula. And you know, this formula is um, very close to my heart because I've proven time and again that it's very effective. And because of this formula, it's possible for you to achieve your dreams, to achieve the goals that you have in life. The formula is, of course, income minus savings is equal to expenses. I know that this is very popular, and most of you knows this. Although this is a very simple concept, but a very challenging one, very challenging one. In fact, you even need a financial plan to pull this off. You see, um, in fact, kaya nga sabi ko, very challenging tong formula na ito because even if you start, you know, you have, you already plan to save, but the moment that uh, you go into a mall, you go inside the mall, alam mo yung mall may other plans din eh. They really wanted also to get that money from your pocket and put it in their pocket. So yun. So for you to pull this off, you need to have a financial plan in place. You know, why is a financial plan very important? It's very important because it can help you avoid mistakes. That's one. It can help you make smarter decisions and it can insulate you from the turbulence of the economy. So what's in a plan? What should be in a financial plan? You just have to determine what you want. I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about goals. You just have to determine what your goals are. What do you really want from this gift called life? Okay, what would you like to have in your life? So dapat andyan yan. It's very clear. It has to be specific, time bound. And kung pwede, you have to put an amount on that. So that's part of uh, the most important part of a financial plan. You know, questions like, um, again, what would you like to have in your life? Uh, would you like to retire early? Uh, travel when the opportunity comes? What would you love to do? Okay, so it's a matter of trying to put up priorities. Okay, priorities. You can also classify that goal into short-term goals, medium-term goals, or long-term goals. Okay, now, siguro a lot of you would ask, is it still possible to save money during these times? Now, if you're still earning a paycheck while working from home, your expenses are, li are likely lower, di ba? No commute, no lunch out, wala yan. No happy hours, probably no dry cleaning. Uh, well, the list goes on. Um, so you should be trying to save as much money as possible at this time. Well, simply not spending this money is a great start. I would advise that you have to be proactive. Okay, you have to be proactive and move some of this money into your savings or investment accounts so it's secured for the future. What I'm saying is put this into action. Huwag mo lang sabihin na, okay, I will save but wala ka namang ginagawa. So that's very important. You just have to be proactive, put that into action, and then, you know, put up that savings account. If you already have that investment account with yours, you just have to continue with that. Stay the course and do the regular investment. Okay? Now, I will now proceed to the fourth tip 
that I'd like uh, to share with you, okay? The fourth tip is, of course, look for the real, real items on sale. And when I say sale, that's of course S-A-L-E, that's sale, no. You know, um, we may be facing uncertainties right now, but it is in these challenging times that opportunities will come. That's true. We have seen, we have seen the recent market swings and it is during downturns that we should be investing because I know that there's a sale. You know, you make money when the market is up. You can also make money when the market is down, okay? If you have money to commit for the next three, uh, five years, or even 10 years, um, you can go for equities or into the mutual fund that has a stock exposure. In this financial journey of ours, we just need to have a vehicle, an investment vehicle that can bring you from point A to point B. Kaya nga tinatawag natin tong vehicle eh. Kasi with your goals, you need to have a partner. Especially if that's like years down the road. You just have to more or less have an investment vehicle uh, dyan. Which means that itong investment vehicle na to would bring you from point A to point B. In your journey, it can be na you can have two, three investment vehicle for you. But, you know, by using, um, you know, by using the mutual fund, I would say this is the vehicle that uh, I feel and I believe uh, can really help achieve your goals. And uh, proven that uh, it's really possible to achieve your goals by, you know, having mutual fund as uh, your vehicle, investment vehicle, okay? I would say that uh, one of the, the best investment vehicle that we have is, of course, uh, as I've mentioned, um, the mutual fund, you know? The concept is just very simple. It's just very simple. We just pull money of people for one common reason, and that is to make more. Of course, the resulting size of the fund would now allow us to invest in a basket of securities. When I say securities, I'm talking about stocks, I'm talking about bonds, okay? Now, um, I'm saying that, well, a lot of, there are several advantages uh, when you invest in a mutual fund. And I would say this is rather a sale for us, an opportunity for us. is because for one, when you join a mutual fund, what's the value that we give you? The main value that we give you when you join a mutual fund is professional fund management. You see, with a very low capital requirement of only 5,000 pesos, you can already uh, access the expertise, the time of the fund managers. You know, they have the time to manage uh, the funds for you. When you invest in a mutual fund, you've got to be invested in, you know, stocks and bonds, the rock solid companies that we have in the Philippine Stock Exchange, you see. And dami jani, there are almost 300 companies on the exchange representing different industries. You know, these are companies that represents uh, the banks, food, holding companies. So it is the responsibility now of the fund manager to really select the different funds on your behalf for the shareholder. So that's one key value when um, you invest in a mutual fund. Another advantage when you join a mutual fund is diversification. Yeah, diversification. Automatically, you will be diversified when you join a mutual fund because you're not only picking or you're not only invested in one, two, or three stocks. You're invested in a variety of different stocks, okay, in a variety of different stocks. So um, aside from that is um, liquidity. Your participation, actually, when you join a mutual fund, are shares of the fund. You are a direct invest, I mean, shareholder of the fund. So we provide you that. Uh, liquidity. It doesn't have any holding period. All you have to do when you buy or when you sell, you do it 
shares because your participation is uh, by shares of stock. Okay. Another advantage is um, tax free. All earnings derived from the mutual fund are tax exempt. At ang pinaka sale talaga, no, that you get your value is a low capital requirement. Is because you see, when you join a mutual fund, the capital requirement is just very low, like five thousand. You can already avail or you can already be a shareholder to any of the funds, you know, uh, professional fund management, diversification, and so on. Okay. So um, the last but not the least tip that uh, I'd like to share with you is, you know, uh, at this time, it would be best if you start giving gifts that, that truly matters. Okay, um, and it is this uh, gift of your time. If you want to give someone something, but probably you can't afford to buy anything, consider giving the gift of your time. Okay, um, you could call and talk to a friend probably, or offer to walk his dog, or bake and share, or run errands for your friends, or do some housework. You know. These are gestures that can't be bought with money and um, will definitely last a lifetime. So um, this pandemic may turn our lives upside down, but uh, there is a silver lining of all this. It's, it gives us a lot of learnings and a lot of insights, especially on preparation and money management. You know, this pandemic has connected us to, you know, what truly matters and what truly matters is the family, health, financial preparation, and willingness to adapt and change to the new normal, okay? So I hope that uh, these insights will guide you to spend your 13-month pay this December, okay? Um, so Merry Christmas and cheers to a new beginning year 2021. Thank you so much. Miss Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Imelda. I really love it. Yeah. So, diba, remember, you can spend naman. Why not? We're not controlling you, okay? <laughs> We're not controlling you to spend, especially this Christmas. It's just that, of course, especially for our loved ones, gusto natin more on giving, giving them something, diba? But you also have to invest on your future. I guess that's what Miss Imelda is really trying to say for, 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 for all the tips that she has given us. So just to recap, number one, I was writing a while ago. So number one is to plan ahead. Iba kasi ang prepare, di ba? Kasi ako before... Hindi naman, Miss Love, no? Hindi ako naglista. Napabili ako na mamahalin. I mean, it's, it's not... Um, it's not within my budget anymore. So there. Okay. Um, the second one is set up a holiday budget. So you won't overspend. Tama naman. Yeah. And this is what I love the most. Add your name on the gift list. So set something aside for yourself. For yourself. Okay. Yes. You just have to pay yourself first mm. before anybody else. Correct. Okay. You're planning to do, uh, if mm. you plan to save, then mm -hmm. start it now. Especially mm -hmm. with that bonus of yours. Cor parang hindi din siya nasasayang. Yung iba kasi parang, asan napunta yung bonus ko? Okay, so hindi na alam. Wala nang traces of the bonus. And then the other one is better if we purchase those that are on price drop or on sale. That's correct. That's very correct. And give gifts that truly matters. Okay, an office friend told me before, si Isa, ko ano yung language of love mo. So tama naman, it's, if it's your time or it's service. So I think that's what truly matters most. Okay, um, Miss Imelda, let's just say hi to some viewers. Kathy, Sebastian, say real. Geraldine, Jade, Oliver from France. So we have a viewer from Europe. Okay, Jade wow. from Quezon City. Si Carlo from Los Baños, Laguna. Wow. And Luella from Fairview. Wow, Rami from Doha. We have... Uh, oh, uh, have, uh, no. welcome. Okay, and who else? Um, Jennifer May Lomboy. Wilma Asuncion. 
and Yapi Domingo. Okay. Marlon Alcala. Hello, hello everyone. Okay. So we'll be entertaining questions muna, Ms. Imelda. Okay, may mga nagtanong. Okay. So from Andres Toralba. I just started investing. I have subscribed to Save and Learn Balance Fund and Save and Learn Equity Fund. My question is, Save and Learn Equity Fund. I am investing in this fund for my retirement fund at 20 years horizon. Wow, very good. So is it fine if I do a cost averaging monthly? Is it a good idea to put my bonus here or should I put it in my balance fund given the current situation in the economy? Yeah, okay. Um, first of all, thank you so much for investing in two funds. No, So you have the balance fund and um, the equity fund. So is it right uh, you already have uh, set your goals like uh, re retirement? Is this the retirement? 20 right? years horizon down, yes. Ms. Imelda. So which means, that's great. That's a good start. You have to deter, you, you already uh, know what you want from that money, which means that, that you'd like to use that for retirement in uh, 20 years. No? So, um, you're also talking about cost averaging, right? If it's if it's uh, advisable for for mm -hmm. for them to use cost averaging, and uh, where to invest the 13 month pay, right? Correct mm -hmm. uh, for the funds. Now, um, you are both invested in an equities fund. It's a balanced fund and uh, an equities fund, which means that those funds are practically exposed to mm -hmm. stocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now you can, um, if you try to look at, siguro when you started, pag start mo lang dyan, you already have your allocation. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, you have your allocation. It can be, I'm not sure what that allocation will be because those are two funds, no? Uh, when you invest, it can be 50-50 mm -hmm. or 60-70. But with a pandemic, I'm sure, medyo nag yan ngayon, no? So you just have to determine um, anong gusto mo? Would you like to have the regular original allocation that you have given the decline of the stock market? No? So in that case, you might be allocating more on equities. Now, the choice is between siguro kung uh, if you place that in a balanced fund or uh, an aggressive fund. Now, it depends on your budget right now, no? Um, if you can still afford to do an allocation, which means the original one that you desire for, then go for it. But if not, given the circumstances that we have, you know, and the opportunities that we have right now in the economy, that uh, soon, uh, for sure, we see already the movement of the Philippine stock market, that is, it has more or less reversed. Iba ngayon, medyo nag-reverse siya from a low of um, a 5,800 level on the index. No? That's the lowest that we have. One of the lowest that we have um, for this year, it now is more or less around 7,000. So, which means that the trend is really going up, which means that um, you just have to allocate probably more on equity. So, I would advise if um, limited lang yung budget, you can go to the more aggressive fund, which is solid. Mm -hmm. But if you can afford it, you can still portfolio it. Uh, portfolio it with the two, two funds, the balance and the equities fund. Okay. I just would like to point out Ms. Love. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, so happy that he raised cost averaging because yeah. that's really very important. No? Keep on going, cost yeah, averaging. Keep on going, yes. stay mm -hmm. focused, you see. <laughs> Stay the course. So that's the most important thing, um, regardless of what's happening outside. Mm, correct. Stay the course because you know what is good about uh, what is good about that. Eh, you already identified your goal. Eh. Mm -hmm. He wanted that money for retirement. So which means that that will be 20 years from now. So mm -hmm. keep on doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't be dis distracted. I mean, distracted by what's happening outside. Mm -hmm. Cost averaging will be regular, so you do it regularly. Okay, mm -hmm. you invest regularly. So regardless of what's happening outside, now regardless of the noises outside, 
you just have to stay the course. Stay oh. the course. All right. So, Andres, I hope you're watching and it Thank answered you, your question. Very, very well answered by Miss Imelda. So, keep pressing on, okay? So, another question, Miss Imelda, is from Danielle Tan. Hello, what are the best compound interest investments? Is mutual fund an example of an investment with compounded interest? Thank you. Okay. Um, there's no best uh, vehicle that is compounded. Now, there are only two things that must be present, you know, for uh, investment vehicle to, to have that compounding effect. First is time. Mm -hmm. You need to have time for you to enjoy compounding earnings on that uh, specific investment. And of course, discipline. Uh, yung sinabi ko kanina, now you just have to stay the course. No? Now, the mutual fund has a compounding component. Mm -hmm. Especially so that uh, we treat the mutual fund as a long-term investment, which means that the yield there, if you have the principal, then you get the yield on year two, year three, year five, you get all those yields. Mm -hmm. you know? And although there are declines along the way on a year on year, but then if you stretch that out, if you stretch the term, you got the compounding effect. Mm -hmm. So, which means that the key for having or enjoying the compounding effect on any investment is time, which means you really have to continue, you know, because the, earn the earnings will, again, I mean, place on the principal or the yield itself, mm -hmm. then it can, it can grow, which means mm -hmm. um, in the mutual fund, you get appreciation, capital appreciation. And in a way, uh, that's also the impact of the compounding effect. Mm -hmm. of, of the fund. Okay. okay. All right. Thank and you. Stay pa rin yun, Miss Love, ha? Stay the course pa rin yun and have that long-term perspective. Mm -hmm. Yes, you... that's correct. I, I believe naman talaga na um, like what Andres uh, asked earlier, more on retirement kasi siya. Eh. I'm sure with Daniel Tan, it's also the same for him. Yeah. It's really more on the long-term um, horizon as well. Okay. Third question from Valentino de Guzman. <clears throat> He's a newbie, Miss Imelda. He's a newbie in investing in mutual funds. So it's very excited to learn new things today. So I'm sure, hello, Valentina, I'm sure you're watching. Is it possible that FAMI conduct discussions about investing in some companies to be able to introduce workers and employees to the benefits of investing? Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to a very productive discussion. Peace be with everyone. Yeah. Um... You know, um, if you if you try to look at the mission of uh, FAMI, mm -hmm. no, if you try to look at our mission, our mission is really financial literacy as well. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, siguro manotis ng uh, mga shareholders natin that most of our brands have uh, save and learn. Mm -hmm. See? Because, you know, FAMI was uh, created with you know, unique partnership between uh, SEAP, the Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines, and uh, also the Maris Brothers, which initially is focusing on education. So we have that save and learn uh, mm -hmm. with the different funds that we have. And you're right, uh, our, um, you know, our direction right now is really financial lit literacy, which means that we're quite aggressive in dissemination for educating mm -hmm. the people, the masses about the importance mm -hmm. of saving and investment. Um, in fact, in corporations, we already introduced different initiatives like, um, you know, love, we have our mm -hmm. monthly investment plan, right? Yes, that's so, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's our monthly investment plan that also would, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, align. Mm -mm. with the objective that we have on financial literacy to make it easier for, you know, for workers, mm -hmm. for um, employees. Employees. Mm -hmm. think. Okay, so uh, I'm just so happy that uh, you're quite interested on that. Um, in fact, um, yeah, we will keep in touch with you. We can get in touch with him. I'm sure he's interested, his company is interested. 
Ayan. Ito so, na ngayon, Miss Imelda, more on ano tayo, Zoom, Zoom lang. So, I think we can, yeah, ano, right. we yeah, can set oh. up a meeting with his yeah, company. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we can, we can um, more or less share that to your uh, colleagues, no? Mm -hmm. The importance of uh, savings and using the vehicle, the mutual fund vehicle. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Okay. Second to the last question from Alexander Nozuelo. This is my question. I would like to know what is the best investment if my goal is to have 5 million after 10 years. I'm already 50 years old and my plan is to invest for my retirement. Thank you in advance and God bless you. Okay. 5 million, Miss Imelda, in 10 years. Uh, pwede mong i-ano yun, love, no? Uh -oh. Anyway, um, I like that because very specific, uh, mm -hmm. my plan na talaga, which means that you want 5 million in 10 years mm -hmm. and then you're now 50 years old. No, mm -hmm. you know, Never um, too late to invest, right? Of course, I'm supposed to say mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I'm supposed to say that. Mm -hmm. Never too late to invest. Okay, never too late to invest. Mm -hmm. Now, um, siguro, to start with, kasi you have 5 million in 10 years, what is important siguro right now is to determine how much you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much you have. And siguro consider then how much you own. How much you own and how mm -hmm. much you owe. We already determined now anong gusto niya, di ba? Which is mm -hmm. the retirement in 10 years. But then, very important for you to know how much you have right now. Mm -hmm. Because you see, from there, we would know uh, in 10 years, no, how much are you going to allocate or fund? Mm -mm. What can you for the next 10 years, given on what you have right now? And um, also very important for us to look at, I mean, uh, to look at the, the risk appetite. Mm -hmm. What's the risk appetite that you have? Does it match the required? Because ngayon 10 years, na yan, di ba? Uh, and then um, 5 million on target. Mm -hmm. and then currently, we just have to assess what can you invest on a regular basis. And then we would know what kind of investment vehicle ang dapat para in 10 years, we can reach the five, uh, mm -hmm. the five million, right? Mm -hmm. the, five million. the target, okay. yes. The rate of return will also have an impact, eh? Di ba, mm -hmm. Yes. It will have an impact. What's the rate of return that is required mm -hmm. for you to hit the five million in 10 years? Mm -hmm. Very important din yun, eh. So determine what you have right now and then uh, how much you can allocate then mm. you just have we have to adjust on the kind of vehicle based on the projected rate of return mm -hmm. now currently kung titingnan mo kasi yung choices ngayon mm -hmm. no either you go into fixed or you go into equities or a combination of both now mm -hmm. right now we all know that rates are really on a declining trend Mm -hmm. no, it's really going down, which means that mm -hmm. you cannot live in 10 years with that kind of rate. Mm -hmm. It means that probably you just have to take a look at capital appreciation in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then an equity fund can be a good uh, positioning for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's equity fund for Mr. Alexander. All right. Final question, ma'am. From Andre Trinidad. Can you please help me in buying FMETF and how to open an account? Thank you. Yeah, uh, FMETF, Exchange Traded Fund. Our yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, um, what is good about Farmy right now is that uh, we make it very convenient for everyone to invest mm -hmm. because we have you can you can open an account online. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they can open an account online, and then uh, very easy, very convenient for you to start on 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 any of the funds and that includes the uh, exchange traded fund no? um siguro na lang uh, miss love we can also aside from you know uh, going through the website and looking mm -hmm. at the requirements we can keep in touch with um sorry the, with the andre trinidad of course yeah, we can get in okay. touch with him yeah we can uh, keep in touch with Andre. I swear to Andre, may one-on-one -on -one -on -one discussion with Miss Imelda. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can keep in touch with you mm. and then, you know, uh, discuss about that fund. All right. Okay. So, Andre will get in touch with you or Miss Imelda will get in touch with you. 
Okay. So I hope you guys have learned something from this episode. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Imelda, for spending the afternoon with us. Uh, by the way, sa mga na feature nating mga questions, um, please wait for an official announcement from our uh, marketing on how you can claim your prize. Okay. So, Miss Imelda, any parting words or message before we spend the weekend? You know, again, um, with that 13-month bonus, you just have to take that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think pinaka critical Jan, is, well, of course, mm -hmm. you really have to set aside something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know very well that this pandemic has given us a lot of insights, and mm -hmm. that is to be prepared. To mm -hmm. be pre prepared when it comes to your uh, financial goals, your financial objective, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, in this journey that we have, especially in money management, you know, um, it's a relationship between that money and yours. So that would mean that there's still a, a lot of room to learn when it comes to money management. Mm -hmm. And um, even if you're a, a newbie or a sophisticated one, you can really learn a lot about how to manage your money. The most mm -hmm. important thing is have that financial plan in place. Mm -hmm. Very important. Regardless of where you are in any stage of your life, you have to have that plan because, you know, things change. And in managing our funds, there should be no surprises. Mm -hmm. It should be more or less, you should be on top of that. And the most important thing, you are willing to learn. Yeah. That's very true. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Imelda. Well said. All right. So again, thank you for everyone who watched this episode. Pero sa next episode natin, like what I mentioned earlier, this will happen every other week. So next next Friday, ang episode natin naman will motivate us on how to be better. So if you feel like you haven't accomplished anything this year, e patapos na yung 2020, and you felt that you have been hard on yourself then, that episode is for you. So I hope to see you all on December 18, Friday, same time. Again, my name is Love, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Miss Imelda. Merry Christmas, so everyone. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.